Hello and welcome to the Spelunker's Guide to Surviving Acronauts, the show where I teach you how to survive Acronaut without shaders. That's right, in the next update, uh, you will be getting this little button here that says shaderless mode. And what this does is essentially remove all shaders from the game. Uh, you're just going to have the plain textures and, uh, and that's it. And this is of course to help those of you with less powerful PCs. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, but as you will see when I load up the game, it looks quite a bit different, but you might like it. I know I do. I might even play it, even though my PC can easily play with shaders. So uh, let's create our new character here, and uh, and <sighs> sorry. over the music in yet uh, so but um there you go that looks pretty nice doesn't it uh, so as you can see everything is now static there isn't any movement and such but um I'm sorry <laughs> the grass isn't moving I meant to say but of course the NPCs and everything oh, yeah. still move around. So um but yeah, looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I think so. I should mention however that it's still a work in progress. Alex is still working on it uh, tirelessly to make it look as good as possible. Um, and you will especially see that here in the countryside and in the towns, but the dungeons seem pretty much done. They look really nice, but I will get to that. First we will stop by the Annex Holfast to see how the towns look. So I will see you there. Here we are. And I think you might agree it doesn't look too shabby, does it? If you get up close you can... Uh, see the fairly low resolution text is here, but from far away it looks really good still. And the water, of course, there are no reflections, uh, and underwater effects still alright. So let's jump in town and see how that looks. And here we are. So, I don't know about you, but I definitely like this. Uh, of course, a lot more work is going to go into it, but it certainly has a very old-school flair to it. Uh, more so than the usually flashy graphics you have in the towns in the Netherlands. Uh, oh, and that's a disappearing tree. What do you think? But uh, I certainly like it. And again, a lot more work will be going into it, but it's a start. Uh, <laughs> ice glass. Right. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and I will see you in Chopinol, where we will check out the dungeons. And here we are. As you can see, this is definitely the most finished of the areas. It looks pretty much the same, just maybe slightly less flashy. And we can have a look, see how it looks with... <laughs> right, 
Okay. Yeah. I wasn't going to kill monsters in this video, but honestly, who can refuse killing a goblin and stealing his vanilla? Because vanilla is tasty. Alright. And you can see it still looks pretty good, everything here. And the monsters uh, are a bit dark, but they certainly don't look like they're wrapped in a plastic wrap anymore. Yeah. So that's a definite upside, in my opinion. And stay down. Quite right. So, uh, it's up to you if you want to use it. You can still use the uh, shaders, but of course if you don't have a a powerful computer, then this might just be the answer for you. Uh, and I know I'm probably going to use it uh, just because I like how it looks, but uh, well, it's up to you to decide. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, until next time, bye bye.